Greetings hobbyists, this is Artans of Vool, and let's look at some features of dragging and dropping files in Blender 4.1, including some things you want to be aware of when doing it. So this is continuing a short series having a look at my favourite things in Blender 4.1. There's links in the description of the other videos, and I've just done them separately so that they're easier to look up if people are searching for these in the future. Now it feels like this one's been a long time coming, I'm surprised it wasn't there earlier, but it's there now so let's be happy about it. So in theory there's no needing to go to file and open for Blender files or import and find whatever thing you're trying to import. Now if you've got a file, let's just say we've got this STL, you can just drag it in and then it will come up with this little preset where you can change the scale and what's up or down and then click import STL and then that has done that and brought it into the scene. So for me I think this is a much better process. But there are some things that we need to be aware of and I thought I'd cover them really quickly. The first is that if you want to bring in let's say a picture, so I'll just come to that file and then drag in this PNG file, this will work, but it's worth noting that this will come in as an empty that you can see at all directions, so it will always be there in your scene and you'll be able to see it, well obviously you can hide it as well, but you'll be able to see it from all angles. Some people don't like that, so if you want to have that just as a background you're going to need to shift A image background and then select it that way and then you're going to be able to move around and it disappears unless you're looking directly at it. So there's still a bit of a limit of this and I do wish there was a choice of what you were able to do when you bring an image in. Similarly, if we bring in an SVG, so let's just drag that in there. What's very useful about this is we can change the scale and SVG is always coming really small. So I'm gonna put that to about a thousand and then import that, we've got that here. Now this comes in with this crazy symbol here as some sort of grease pencil object. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't find that as useful because if I right click and then convert to, it doesn't have an option to convert it to a mesh. Instead, you're gonna to have to click Bezier Curve and then that's gonna create a new object. So let's just hide this one, which is here. And then you can right click that and then convert that to a mesh. And then it's still hollow. So you're just gonna to have to A and F to fill that. So a little bit longer on that bit, but then you haven't had to import things. I'll also note that this gives you a perfectly clean surface. Obviously it's an Engon, so it does depend on what you want. Whereas if I was to file import and then SVG and then bring it in this way, one, it will be really tiny because they always seem to be. So that's just A and S to scale that up. But it is as a curve, if I click on it we've got all our curve options here and I can right click and conveniently instantly convert that to a mesh. It is coming in with the material, let's just get rid of that. And that has the negative, I would say, that it's all triangulated. Some people might like that, but it's taken less time to convert it to a mesh. So just some things to consider in terms of what you want, but at least we've now got that as an option. We can drag and drop things into our files really quickly. And we can do that for things like OBJ files, PLY files, STLs, and then Blender files by themselves, either as a new file or you add it to your old file. So hopefully that helps out and some things to be aware of and some tips and tricks you might just want to know. As always, if you found that useful, it'd be really appreciated if you hit the like button. It seems that YouTube have changed it so that unless you're a massive channel, they don't share your videos around as much, which is a bit sad. So hitting that like button and subscribing really does help the channel out. Have a great day, guys.